welcome back to another episode of Itty Bitty Airport. It feels like years since I last played this game and it probably has been so many years but recently they have just dropped a brand new update which not only includes a ton of things but the main thing it includes is the ability to now have military aircraft landing at your boys airport. Now if you don't know what EB airport is you've never seen me play it before because it's been a fair few years since I did last play it. I highly recommend going to YouTube right now and searching Seniac EB airport watch those few episodes that I did create. Oh, it's got pretty dark right now because I build what you see right now the world's greatest airport It took a lot of headache a lot of confusion a lot of thinking and working out how to build the best airport ever and your boy eventually did it It's amazing doesn't look like much, but this airport makes so much cash. I got 6.1 million in the bank I think it has been a few years since I last played this game. Well, we today are going to check out all the brand new stuff. There's like monorail stuff, there's tanks, there's hangars, there's cargo, uh, big cargo planes. And I think there's like kind of like a military kind of plane in many ways that you can kind of get land in. We'll check out all the aircraft that are now available and what the requirements are uh, to get them hopefully landed in your boys airport. So if you do enjoy this and maybe want to see more of this game in the future, or maybe you want to see me build a brand new airport from complete scratch, then... Smash that like button down below and if you are new around here make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. Now there is still a lot of things I didn't quite get done. Like if I kind of start with the basics, this is where you kind of arrive at the airport. You kind of come in here, check in your bags, you make your way down the kind of fast little escalators here and you go shimmy around this through security and then you're into all the lounge areas to where your aircraft gate might be. Now we have four runways and that's because we kind of worked out only one aircraft can land or take off at any given time. So we have one runway linked to four, well, three gates in this case. I'm sure there's meant to be one here. Hmm. Uh, same over here, same over there, and then that one over there is for cargo planes only. And that pretty much then enabled me to have four aircraft land at once. I couldn't link them all up. You can see how the kind of the, the lines follow it because that means I'll only get one at a time and I got a load of hangers just kind of waiting. But this is so efficient, so freaking efficient. So, oh man, this game brings back... Guys, if you remember this original series, let me know in the comment section down below because already it brings back so many freaking memories. We've got the big belugas. That one's taking off over in the distance right now with the big cargo depot over here. It is amazing. But we need to go through and check out every new thing within this update. So... Um, what's new that's been added? So a, a brief overview, you got the C-17 cargo plane, they've added in monorail tracks, tanks, aircraft hangars, and more. And apparently there has been a military update as well. Not too sure when the military update was or anything like that, but we're going to be, you know, fine again anyway. But if I go over to here, click on the air traffic control tower, these give you a list of all the planes that you could potentially get uh, in your airport. Now, the C-17 is a cargo plane, but it's a military cargo plane. That is the difference right there. And it tells you all the requirements that you need to get it. So it requires a cargo jet parking, which we have because we're getting the belugas coming in. It requires a large runway, which we've got four of them. Uh, a long-range ATC tower, which is the air traffic control tower, which the beluga also requires that. But where the Beluga requires at least three minimum warehouse shelves, this requires at least two tanks. Ooh. Now, here are my options. I can either just randomly place in two tanks, like I've got fire engines just here, like there. And that meets all the requirements to then start getting military planes landing on this runway only, because by the looks of it, they go to a cargo section. Or... Right, I could maybe utilize the little bit of dead space I have over in the background over here to build potentially another runway, but set that solely up for the military aircraft. Ooh. Now that kind of makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? I think that's what we're going to do. So, to be able to do this, then we need runways. Run the race. These are jetways and runways, and we need the large one, the big boy right now. I gotta make sure that I got enough room that I can squeeze it in. So if I placed it a little bit more staggered back than what that current one is right now, and if I placed it about, say, here, I don't know. I'm just gonna throw it in. 
And of course, I want to do all the design patterns that we currently have around all the other places. So I've got to kind of remember how I fully did all this. So I want to delete floor, and I'm going to delete all that floor just to there. And I'm going to place down some floor next. Well, that's not the floor button. Sonny, that's not the floor button right now. Where is oh, the floor button's here? It's been a while, guys. Okay. It's been a while since I last played it. So that's taxiway. This is the checkered floor. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is the outside. I want the concrete. So what the concrete is going to do is allow me to kind of first build the border around all of this. Right. So I can kind of keep with the same theme and we can visually understand where the paths are, where it's all set up, where everybody goes. It's going to be amazing. So I think I'll bring this. Um, right, this is something else that we kind of got to work out as well, is the taxiway. So if I bring that out. Right, how many did I bring it out by over here? So one, two, three, four. So that's two, three, four. And then we will be going in this direction. So if I did that like that, which would then mean the normal tarmac would go out by one, two, three. So one, two, three. But I'd do one more to cover that little side there. Right, and then how much do we stick over from the side? Only by one. Right, if I did that to there, did that to there, and then we've got the kind of design pattern that we pretty much need. So we bring this all the way down, and then we have this little awkward section right now. Right, where do we double it? Do I keep it separate? Hmm. It's a tough one, isn't it? Do I keep it separate or do I integrate it all together? So if I had this concrete thing on the way down to kind of separate it like that. So yeah, I could separate it where the military doesn't kind of go with the passenger. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll set it up like that. I mean, I, I probably have got also room to push it back by one additional, but we'll leave it like that. Yeah, it's a bit funky, but kind of like funky. <laughs> so if I bring this down by, let's say, three more here. And then with this taxiway, I want to bring it like so far in like this. And then bring it um, back up this way. So if I bring it all the way up to, say, there. Right, this completely changes how then we interact with stuff. Moving this. Actually, I'll bring that up to, say, just here for now. Because I've also got to figure out as well where I want to kind of create the lines that go into the jetways. Probably sounds like a bunch of nonsense right now. Like, yo, Snick, do you even know what you're talking about? Um, kind of yes and kind of no. <laughs> so I'll leave it like that. I've got to do another strip just there. But I also need to make the bits where it kind of goes straight. So we'll kind of leave it for now. So, got that set up then. We're now going to place down and build um, our kind of rooms so i need to remember how do i build a room right uh buildings is it to do hang on outside it oh oh ooh, i can actually just do it as hangers instead oh that might be a better idea for the military aircraft hangers instead right, I, only me could get the hanger the wrong way round. <laughs> right there we go so if I actually placed it, like, say, one here, right, let me cancel that, and then, oh, okay, right, okay, better idea, right, back to the flooring. If I get now, then, this set up to understand where it comes, no, 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 stop placing. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. So I have that like that, and then the normal... Oh, don't say it. Please stop clicking. Just stop clicking right now. Right, so we then have this comes and stops there. Then we have this one go over by one, and we'll bring it across by four. And then we have a free gap. And across by four. Then we have a free grap, grap gap and across by four. So that will mean then I'll have three hangers in total. I think that's as far as I'll push that. No, I could actually go one more, couldn't I? So a free gap will then end here. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bring that to there. 
There's a lot of path movement I've got to place in before we even get the freaking cargo military played finger me jiggy me booty in. But this is going to work wonders. So tarmac to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. <laughs> it's just so, so much I'm going to add in right now before I even throw the plane in. So actually, let me, I'll push this on the one all the way up. To here, to there. So all I've got to do, technically right now, is place in two tanks, and then I should start getting military planes landing. Now the only downside is I don't think you can actually say, "Yo, only use this runway for the tanks." That makes sense. That tanks. Why am I talking about tanks for the military planes? Um, so I think normal cargo planes are going to land here anyway. But let me go back to looking at it one more time. So it just requires two tanks, whereas this requires shelving and a cargo. Oh, the jet park. Oh, wait, hold on. Then who requires the hangar? Is it even possible to get them to use the hangar? Um, so cargo jet park. Ah, I just got to place it in like that as normal. Cannot place item here. Why not? Oh, okay. You're going to place it right at the end. Oh, okay. So then, obviously, of course. So, yeah, you will have normal kind of the belugas landing here, too. Which I don't actually know how they're going to quite fit inside. You know what I mean? But with that knowledge, we're pretty much all now set up to have normal cargo planes land at this runway. We, we just kind of are. But of course we need tanks. Now, where do we get tanks from? Would they be in the outside section? Tanks, tanks, tanks. They're the monorail stuff. Utilities. 120,000 for a freaking tank. This is legit. This is so legit. Right, where should I... Where do I park a tank? Um, should I add them right next door? 120,000 for two tanks, just like that. So, like I said, we're going to get Beluga's Land here anyway, because they had the same requirements as that military plane uh, anyway. So, they're going to share it. And it also does mean that we'll then get military planes landing over at this side too, because obviously it shares what the Beluga shares. So, we need to get more stuff down there, don't we? I mean, I'm just kind of waiting for that moment where we see one land. You kind of have to wait for that Beluga to stop. Then it will either trigger the Beluga to go home again, or a next plane to land. So is it stopped? It's stopped. I'm checking the skies. I'm checking the skies, boys. No, it's another blue landed. This one's now about to skedaddle out of here. So while we wait, we might as well finish up a few more of these then. Bit time consuming. I get it. I know. But it's going to look so good in the end. Right, that goes up to there. Oh, I only pressed one down. I forgot to drag it. You go up to here. You go up to there, and it's simply tarmac straight down, tarmac straight down, and then the taxiway goes straight up, and that's all I've got to do. Any military planes yet? Not yet. We still... <gasps> we finally got one! A freaking C... What is it? A C what? C-17? A freaking military plane coming in, which is now going to park in your boy's hangar. Oh, damn. That dude's got a pretty nice little setup. Um, it's going to park in your boy's little hangar here. Oh my goodness me. It's kind of hilarious because it's a lot... <laughs> it sticks out at the end. <laughs> I think I'm, I kind of slightly misplaced the hangar. Let me delete the hangar while the plane's there. And go back to objects uh, outside. And just kind of... Move it back by one. No, I can't place the item there. Ah, okay. It has to be on that because I think the cargo thing... I don't know, I don't know. But looking at this dude's setup right now, it's pretty sweet, but all the planes have to wait here. And they have to go one by one. So the next plane won't move until that next one's kind of docked. So it's a cool setup, but is is limited. It's limited to how many planes can, can approach and land. Because they're all in the same line. Right, this is the problem I had when I first played, started playing this game, is working out the best way to do it. That's why I have... Well, I originally had four runways divided to four stops. 
He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hang on, two, four, six, eight. Eight runways, and by the looks of it, he's going to build another eight here, which makes no sense. Because a plane comes in, and it can't do nothing. So if one comes in and one does the whole taxiing to there, once it's taxied, he then has to wait for another one, but he hasn't got the room to do it. It's It looks good, but it's so inefficient. So inefficient right now, that little system. Uh, anyway, another C-17 has now landed. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. So let's get the, another little hanger down. Like that. The jetway. And like, like this, it's not cheap. Cargo jetway, 800,000. It ain't cheap, so you need money to be able to do all of this. You freaking do. But let me get the rest of this down now. So that up to there. That up to there. You up to there. You up to there. And then we go straight across. Straight across. Burr, 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 burr. Look at this. I am an airport building god right now. Ain't nobody gonna stop your boy. Too good. Too good. It's crazy to think how long I haven't played this game for, but it's all slowly coming back to me. It's like riding a bike, guys. You never freaking forget. Right, how much is a hanger? Hanger's quarter of a million. Do you know what? None of this stuff is actually quite cheap, is it? No. And also that hanger's now misplaced, which means I then have to now delete the item, which I, I lose 50,000 for deleting it. And then 800,000 for each jetway here. Shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. But at least we can now have multiple landing all at once. Now, utilities. Let's get some more tanks down on the go. I'm treating this as our military section over here. Spending... I've got three... No, 2.9 million remaining. Boom, 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 boom. Another C-17 on the way down. This is amazing. This is so good right now. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. So now we've got all this additional jetways in. When that stops, hopefully we are due the next plane to land. Kind of hoping we're due the next plane. We've got so many runways. So many planes. It's just so beautiful. It's just so freaking beautiful right now. Another. I wonder... Is there any over there? I wonder what's cute. Because at the minute, I keep seeing belugas over on that side. And only C-17s on this side. Is it, is it just pure luck that that's happening? Or is it having an effect with the uh, the tanks nearby, maybe? I don't know. I don't freaking know, but I freaking love it. It's amazing. So, we also have the ability to get in monorails, too. Now, the monorails, which is classes being outside, monorail tracks. We have a monorail station, which I'm not entirely sure how we use these. Um, I don't think I have the room to... Oh, oh, I'm on the conveyor system. I don't think I have the room to do it. But if I dropped... Can't place item there. Is that the end of my land? Yeah, I've, I've, that's the thing. I've built right up to the end of the land. But for the funsies, I want to kind of slightly use it and build it. So I'm just going to drop it over here. Oh, hang on. There's a C-17 landing over on that cargo section over there. So let me place one in here. I'm just going to kind of use this as our little testing ground. So we have the monorail station. And then we have the monorail turn section. So I could turn it around. We have the monorail... Oh, track with a train on? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have the standard track. Which you've got to place it one by one. Which takes a little bit of... Ah, oh, I misplaced that one. I can build a flag as well. Uh, completely misplaced that one. And if I have another station here. And then we place down our turn. And then the straight bit. Let's do a bit of monorail here with a, with a train on. It's a shame that they don't kind of go round and round. That would have been kind of cool. I think that would have been really cool. But that's how you build the monorail section. It is pretty nice. 
it is pretty nice because you can like integrate something really cool with it. It's just a shame I don't really have the fully functional space to be able to do it. But that would be really, really cool. So what is my statistics in here then? So everything's at 100%. Amazing. Amazing right now. Uh, we've got all the capabilities to land at every single aircraft. I think I'm only missing one, uh, which is the, the Q400, right? It's a Game Pass plane. The Q400 is a Game Pass plane, uh, which you can purchase here. I don't want to, uh, but again, fairly easy to get anyway. And there goes my C-17 military plane skedaddling out of here. And this has been pretty fun. I mean, I got a load of more decoration to add in, all that kind of jazzy stuff. But this is pretty cool. Guys, let me know what you think about this game. Should I do another episode? Do you want to see me build a brand new airport from the ground up? I don't know. But what you could do, guys, is let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.